places like this, it's about raising the profile of a company. It's about engaging with different universities and colleges and students so that you know they can see how big the company is and how, how many careers there are in the business. What better place than here to talk to people about the meat industry and ABP in, in general because you know, we're, we're, we're a massive company. You know, it doesn't really matter whether they want to come and work in a factory or whether they want to take on an apprenticeship scheme or they might have a, a degree and they want to join our graduate scheme which is hugely successful. We were here last year, it was a big success. We're repeating the exercise to attract people to the business, to get the name of ABP known uh, and to give them some, some careers advice, show them what sort of areas we recruit for within the business. Hopefully attract some new talent in the future. We came here to have a look at what we could do in the future, get a feel for what's out there. To see what opportunities in life or like what routes we can go down. The activity we're doing today involves the construction of Mr Potato Head but we work with the students to demonstrate how applying a few lean principles can improve their time uh, to probably four times faster than they did the first time they assemble it. My first time was like over a minute and my last one was 15 seconds so it's, it's quite useful to use like organisation skills. Um, so we were tasting bits of burger to see if we could guess like the hidden flavour. So we brought along three different species, beef, pork, lamb, um, and the children get to taste and they've got to guess the hidden flavours inside. I got the first one and it was orange flavoured. The second one was toffee apple and the third one was coke. Everyone loves a selfie these days. We draw them in with a selfie and the back, it's got the different cuts of meat. So then we'll go a bit of a game, where are these cuts from, do you know, what do they go into, is it your steak you have at a restaurant, is it your roast your Nanders on a weekend, is it your McDonald's burgers. We had a scanner, we scanned all the uh, packages of the barcodes, 40 packages and we had one problem box. They have to look at the scan gun and mimic a scenario in the dispatch area. Dispatch is quite an important part of the process. If they find this very enjoyable and they think that they can do this in a very efficient, quick manner, this might be something that they can think about a career in, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's good. It's not scary, scary though, like so fast, the pressure's on. I got the best score in the game. No, nobody could beat it. It's very rewarding to see people engage with us trying some of the activities and learning something during the day. I think the benefit is, is realising how many different careers there are in the industry. You think, you know, a, a manufacturing business, do you realise there's HR, do you realise there's technical, there's finance, there's every different job opportunity in there. And there's opportunity with an ABP to move around different sectors. If they don't like one sector, they can go and move to another sector. Everyone knows that policemen, firemen, electrician, plumber sort of path. We're here, it's a big industry to be involved in. You can have a degree and come into the business, you can have no qualifications and still come into the business. A lot of people here will be going back home with a totally different perception of what they want to be doing going forward and I think that's what's really good about this. I didn't have this when I was at school and you know that wasn't even that long ago really and I think having this it just gives you that more opportunity and just seeing what's out there. Yesterday when we had a lad who's already got a 2-1 engineering degree come onto the stand just for a, a chat about potential career prospects, hopefully we might see him for an interview in that assessment centre in the future. It's amazing how many people do come across the doors here and then, you know, hopefully come along as graduates or placements in the future. I'm very passionate about the fact that we want new Dave Smiths coming through the industry.